Hello Mariners! Welcome back, I am Porthos and this is Sailwind. And we're on Happy Bay, a place which is quite difficult to get to from the northern region of Astrian. The plan is to get some mission cargo, some trade goods and head out to sea. Destination, the Emerald Isles, maybe Dragon Cliffs. Join me on today's adventure. Oh look, bananas, we don't often get a chance. Let's, uh, let's try. Uh, they're okay, not bad, not bad. It's starting to get late, but let's sell some of the empty barrels. So the market traders have gone to sleep now, but we've got empty hooks, empty water, and empty firewood to sell in the morning. And I also realised we had three cheeses we didn't sell in the last episode, so let's sell those. I think we can do it now, actually. I don't think we've got receipts, so I don't know how much we bought them for, but I think it was probably in the region of 643. And we're going to sell them for this much, so let's just sell them for... Two, three, get receipts. That will be in Emerald Dragons. So yeah, 2,769 Emerald Dragons. We're going to need 90 Gold Lions to buy the brig at some point. And also we need to buy the junk when we get to Dragon Cliffs. So we need to earn more money for both those ships. We can trade these in for Gold Lions. The weather outside suggests a storm might be brewing. Now I've been thinking, we want to go to Dragon Cliffs and over here are missions. Nothing local because we're out by Happy Bay on its own, but but the world missions, there is a goal to Dragon Cliffs. This pays loads of money, like a ridiculous amount of money, but it also is a ridiculous weight. So goal to Dragon Cliffs for three cargo, 1200 pounds, accept that. And now we want the lightest cargo to Dragon Cliffs that we can find. Dates, 46 pounds. But it's ten, it's ten, just ten boxes. I can't take ten boxes. Oh man, that's a lot of dates. Oh, there's only nine now. Does somebody take one? It's weird. Okay, I thought about it, and uh, if anything, it'll be it'll be funny. Nine boxes of dates. Sixteen days to get there. Let's go. Look at that. We've got to put all this on our vessel. Uh, okay, where's the gold at the bottom? Now these are heavy. These are heavy. And look at the ship. Look at how cast the cog. Look at her moving as we're getting on because of how heavy we are with these uh, crates. Let's put this water up forward a bit. I'm going to try and arrange these centered line so they're not too one sided. Okay, I already considered this is a bad idea. We're not going to do this. Yeah, we're not we're not gonna do this. Okay, yes, uh, let's uh, let's magically roll back time by uh, the old uh, slip of the finger. Alt F four. Our old friend Alt F four. Okay, we're back. <laughs> okay, let's try. Let's let's uh, let's agree that twelve hundred pounds worth of mission cargo is a little bit too much for poor old Cassie the Cog. Maybe on a different vessel would be okay. So I don't know what the uh, the maximum effective carrying weight of Cassie would be, but uh, let's go for the lightest options we can find. I think all of the metal ones are too heavy for Cassie. Poor old Cassie. Let's go for dates. All 10 boxes is just going to be about £40 worth. Nice. Okay, this time we didn't put anything at the back because we've got the stove, which is quite heavy. So we've got all the dates mostly on the forecastle area of the vessel. Okay, let's buy some of our own dates as trade goods and we'll sell that before we turn in the missions. The estimate is 252 profit for each uh, each one. So let's buy one. Oh, they only had one for sale. <laughs> okay, let's get the receipt for that. But that's okay. It's our special profit one. And also it doubles up as emergency rations. Do not eat the produce, Potos. Okay, that's gonna go there. But yeah, we're here, we know where we are on the map. We're at Happy Bay, there is a bit of a storm coming in. But what's the worst that gonna happen? Where, which, which direction is the wind blowing in? Southeast, not a bad direction. Let's head out into the storm. First things first, Potos. Now do this correctly. Steer a little to the left. We take off the stern rope. 
Take off that. We're now technically at sea. Let's release the jib. Let's pull it in tighter. So that we can see it. And we're moving. We're off. Pass that we're off. We're off. Uh, yeah, hard to port, hard to port. I've got a feeling this is bad. No, I think we might make it. I think we might make it. Goodbye, happy birthday. You've been good to us, hopefully. If we can get through this. <laughs> I think we could make it. And straighten up, straighten up. Beautiful. Yes, I think we passed it. Okay, the wind needs adjusting. The wind's coming from behind, so let the uh, let's let out the the jib a bit. Bit of speed, and no reason not to let down the mainsail. There she blows. Wow, we got a bit of speed there. Woohoo! Oh yeah! Now the main cell's working in our favour. It's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing! Amazing! I'm loving it! This is going to be a great episode. Look at the speed of us! Goodbye, happy bay! I can see a storm behind you. We're going to use that as a bit of speed. We want to, we're going east at the moment. Can we go a bit to south? Oh yeah. Straighten up, straighten up, straighten up. We're definitely going south now. Let's let out the, uh, the square sail a bit so that it goes with the wind. Just look out for tippings. Okay, it's a bit, whoa, it's a bit wavy. Might need to, I think the jib's okay. The jib could be facing the other direction, but. Oh, yeah, it is. Nice one. Whoa, I could pull you in a tad so that you're more. Catching the wind. Okay, okay, okay. Let's go a little bit left a bit so that we. Hang on, let's um. Let's pull you in. Just keep the water out. There we go. Okay, okay, okay. This is, this is good. Look at her. Cassie the cog. I mean, there is a storm chasing us. But that's okay. Uh, I want to double check the direction that we need to go in. On the world map, we do need to go a bit to the east anyway. So that's not too bad. There's a storm. You're not gonna catch us, Storm. You're not gonna catch us. Oh, yes. The speed of her. I'm just happy we're going in the going fast to be fair. The optimum direction isn't too much of a hassle. I mean I'm going we're going southeast, which is pretty much the direction we want to go. A bit more south than southeast would be brilliant, but you know, beggars can't be choosers. I'm just happy for the change. Yes, we're getting wet, but we've got a roof. Keeping us dry.
<laughs> loving it. I'm loving it so much. Awesome. Okay, let's drink. We'll get told off in the comments. While I'm talking about getting told off in the comments, the person who made the crib, the navigational crib in the last episode, check that out if you want to know, know anything about navigation, by the way, or would like a little refresher, it's right at the start of the episode. The person who made that crib, I thanked as Chloe. Their name is no longer Chloe. Their name is this in the Discord, my Discord, join it, link in the description. And this is their name on YouTube. So thank you, kind person. But yeah, if you do want a copy of that crib yourself, it's pinned at the top of my Discord in the Salwind channel. You guys in general are pretty awesome, by the way. Thank you for all the new subscribers. You guys are great. Love seeing your happy faces. And the guys who click like, get a special place in my heart too. So you help other people watch the videos. Oh wow, look at this. Is this dangerous? Should I be worried? I don't know, probably. Are we going in the right direction? Yeah, it's even better than before. Yeah, better, better than before. Uh, a little bit hungry, let's have an eel. As I said in the last episode, two eels make a great meal. I might put that on a t-shirt one day. Well, we don't have two eels to, at the moment. We just have uh, an eel and whatever this is. A blackfin hunter. We are out of food now. Whoa! It's a storm. I think the storm's passing us to the, on the starboard side. I don't think we're going to go directly through it, which is a good thing, probably. How's the wind looking? Because the storm's moved around. Let's uh, let's let you out a bit. I think we can kind of deal with a bit less, a bit more tippy. Yes. Maybe, he says. Maybe not. Um, no. Let's put it back up how it was. Like that. Mostly want to stay afloat now. Getting a little bit worried at seeing the water coming in. We are bouncing around a little bit. Let's pull you in just to make sure. See what I'm gonna I'm gonna bring up the square cell because safety is first. Right at the moment. I think the jib can handle it on its own. And we're getting tired apparently. Um, the clock's down here. No, where's the clock? Here. It's only half four. We're not going to sleep in the daytime. Okay, look at the skies. Look at those beautiful skies after the storm. I think we're going to be okay, you know. I never really doubted it. Maybe I should have. But I always have that optimistic outlook that everything's going to be all right. Bit too much water coming in maybe, but I don't know what to do about that now. <laughs> I don't know what to do about that one. How's the wind looking? I mean, all we've got is a jib. Whoa, 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 that's a big wave. Crabs. The idea. We could probably steer a little bit to the left and go along the wind a bit more. 
For some reason the rudder is sticking to the right a bit. Yeah, let's face left. The wi okay, we're directly in line with the wind now. Maybe now we can let this down a bit. Is it risky? I don't know. But we're directly in line with the wind, so hopefully not too risky. But the ultimate speed. Surfing on these waves. Go right a bit because we're not in line anymore. We try and keep us in line with the wind here. Just ride it out. Ride out the storm. Look at that mainsail. That is full. The lightning flash in there. That we are just surfing these waves. The speed of it. Look at it. Whoa, look at that. Pushing us around. The moon in front, how cinematic. The moon is coming up, moon, the moon rise. That is beautiful. That is a beautiful sight. I love that moon. Okay, let's um, steer to the right a bit because we are not in line with the wind anymore. Go right a bit and then straighten up. There, let go. Part of me wants to sleep just to kind of save our progress. It's getting late now though, is it? 7 p.m. Sailing under a full moon. Full sails down into the wind. No, away from the wind, with the wind behind us. Marvelous. But yeah, I think we're going to get an early night mostly just to save our progress and because we need it. And if we wake up a bit early before dawn, that's okay. Let's uh, have a drink. And we'll see you guys hopefully in the morning. Good night, everybody. Oh, it's the morning. Wow, we didn't even get a whole night's sleep. We went to bed quite early, so... What time is it? Okay, the sun is rising quite early. Five o'clock in the morning. It's going to be a beautiful day. By all accounts. There's the sunrise. As yet, nothing on the horizon. Okay, so the wind isn't too harsh. We can let some of this out. We can have a... I think I'll just blow us sideways, you know. Let's... I feel like... Like that is best. I think pulling this in a bit more... So that the uh, the wind is there is a bit of a wind shadow situation going on, but I think it's going to be all right. We're pretty much going directly south here, which I'm not unhappy with. Beautiful golden moment in south wind. Probably time to catch some fish. Going for the uh, method of fishing quite close into the ship here. And we're going so fast, I don't think the hook's in the water. Maybe uh, it only works if you're going slower. 
There we go, look at that. I think it's a black fin hunter. Unless it's... <gasps> it's not! It's a shimmer tail! <laughs> that was funny. Not straight on, but that's okay. And we can see the green of the water, the beautiful emerald green. Oh, we just hooked a fish, and that reminds me, we're on a mission not just for fishing and missions and cargoes and money and profit, but also we're going to make a, a purchase. When we get to Dragon Cliffs, we're going to buy... An eel. Eel and a shimmer tail. We're going to buy... I'm trying to think of the name there. We're going to buy the junk. The junk type vessel. And uh, she's going to need a name. We've only got one suggestion so far for the names. So uh, by default that's what it's going to be. Unless you also can make a suggestion. And it will be my favourite one. Which gets picked. But I will probably read out your suggestion on the video. As long as it's clean of course. That's one of the options. So please. Names for the junk type vessel. In the comments. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. There's another eel. There's another eel. Two eels and a shimmer towel on one stove. It wasn't straight on, but that's okay. Do you know what? It's such a lovely day. We're going to fish from the upper deck. This is a, turning out to be a glorious good day. A glorious episode where everything's going going okay. So far. Have I just jinxed it? Oh, look at that! A full fish! Quick succession! This day just, is just getting better and better. Hang on, is that what I think it is? That's a shiver tail! It's a shimmer tail. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, 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 look at this, look at this, and straight on, <laughs> look, at, look at that selection of fish, my two favourite types, oh wow, that is, that's a, that is a meal, that, today's a wonderful day. Let's get a little bit left or south. Which is actually better for the wind. No reason not to cook those fish actually. Let's get those cooking. Uh, they're dates. I think we're low on firewood. We've only got 11 firewoods. But that's enough for our little voyage here. Oh, boss ass. There we go. Whoa, cripes, that's a let's go left. That's fine, let's straighten you up. Okay, let's have some... Let's have our first top top because... We don't want to go unconscious. 
bit too far to the port there. Let's go a little bit more south. That's about it. That's about it. Oh yes, the shimmer towels are cooking first. That is why we love shimmer towels. They cook fast. And even a little bit burnt maybe, I don't know. Let's have two let's have a double shimmer towel meal. Not bad, not bad. Delicious. I think it's starting to rain again. Definitely starting to rain again. What's that all about? Is where is the storm coming from? We kind of missed midday. It's one. It's one. Uh, one p.m. But that's okay. We can still use uh, this thing to tell us how far north or south we are. We're maybe at thirty-four there. 34, we're below the 35 line. So yeah, we probably need to go directly south now, honestly. Directly south probably isn't a bad shout. Let's make sure we go in a bit more in a southerly direction. Because we're not too far. Happy Bay's not too far west of uh, Dragon Cliffs. The wind's not too bad for that for going south. It's okay. And the eels are cooked. Delicious. At some point we're gonna buy. At some point we are gonna buy some furniture, but for now we can use this uh, this crate to keep our food off the floor. <laughs> the crate of dates. I say floor, really it's a deck. You only have floors inside, you have uh, the ground outside, floors inside, and on the ship we have decks. Just, uh, just a little thing that we have. Top her up, top her up. Now some people in the comments have been giving me some good tips of how to use a jib to tack. Um, and I do like the comments. I do like the tips. Keep the tips coming, people. Loving the tips. Now, because before, when we were going directly into the wind, I had this knot of the jib pulled as tight as I could. And uh, as tight as it would let us go. And it got us to about here, with the knot, uh, or somewhere here, I don't know. But really, we wanted to go tighter, but I couldn't. How could we put it in tighter? It was a maximum tightness. But really, what I should have done is let this out a bit, slackened it a bit, and then pulled in from here, which would have brought the knot in of the sail from here over to the middle bit somewhere inside of this gun wall or, or the gunnel. Depending on how you want to pronounce it. But yeah, that's a good little tip, that. 
maybe I'll put it into a practice one day. The other thing was that when we attack it from left to right or right to left, apparently I tried attacking with the cell on the wind side, which is not what we want to do. We want to attack with the cell on the opposite side to where the wind is. So the wind, if the wind's coming from this side, we want the jib to be on the left side of the mast, or the port side. And then, uh, and then have enough slack on here so that when we turn, it flips over by itself with the wind. We don't pull it over manually. So that's a couple of lessons that I've learned. I haven't practiced them yet, but maybe one day we will do. Looks like we've got the wind in a too much of a favorable position for that at the moment. But yeah, I am learning, guys. I am learning. We are picking up little tricks, little tips as we go. If I learn something new, I'll let you know. And if you know something that I don't know, which probably you do, let me know. Probably want to, uh, even though we've got another day's meal here, it can't hurt. Can't hurt to keep catching fish. It's not like we're going to get weighed down with fish. Bit more of a rainy day today. It's a flying fish. That's another, it's another, it's another eel. It's another eel. And straight on with the hook. Oh, the storm's in front of us. The storm's in front of us. Okay, okay. The wind is obviously changing a little bit there. Um, I think we don't want to go right through that storm. It looks like we might end up going right through that storm. And I don't really see a way to avoid it. I and mean, if we went to the right of it, we could avoid it. But that would be through the wind. We're going to get hit by a storm here. This is not brilliant. Um, what to do in a situation such as these? <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to decide what the best course of action is. And all, the, all, of the, all the time I'm thinking, it's getting closer and closer and closer. And the world is getting darker and darker and darker. My indecisions are leading us to go straight, straight into it. We carried on south, okay. I mean, that's the direction we want to go in. Just, just pretend the storm isn't there. Just pretend the storm isn't happening. <laughs> What's the worst that could happen? Oh dear. Whoa! Oh craps. Okay, okay. Do you know what? We're gonna. I I'm not even gonna play with the main cell. The main cell is coming right up. We're going, we're literally going into the storm here. We, we're, getting, we're getting rid of this. This is not an option. We're taking the main cell away. Cripes. Um, I want to go left a bit just to make sure, oh, I don't know. Oh crap, we're not even in it yet because also the moon. Oh dear. We're going to really get quite far to the east now. We're just letting the storm take us where it wants. But that means we'll end up in the storm for longer. Let's let's not go let's not completely submit to the storm's wheels. To the will of the storm. So that's a good direction.
We could even go a bit close haul it a bit maybe with the jib. Close haul is where you're sailing as close to the wind as you can. I'm not sure the actual degrees of it, but it's the closest one. Oh, hang on. That is more than enough. Which requires the tightest of the jibs. The closer you get. Trying not to let the storm send us too far off course here. As long as we're able to go forwards, I'm happy. Look, we've got a weight behind us, so we're probably going pretty slow into the stormy wind, but water's not coming in, and we're going in the correct direction, pretty much. So I think everything's going to be all right. Now we are really tired, but the clock says it's actually pretty late. There's no reason why we're staying awake. We're going in a pretty good direction, roughly, you know, pretty... Uh, we can go a bit more south, maybe. I want to get the compass pretty much as south as we can have it. Yeah, I think the storm's past us to the other side now, so the worst of it's over, but I'm still trying to... I'm still struggling to try and get us facing south. And once we do though, we're going to get some sleep because it's uh, it's late and we are tired. Okay, I'm going to eat one eel before bed. And we're just going to, we're going to turn the lights out. And this one. And we're going to say, I'll see you guys in the morning. Good night, everybody. As best as it can be. It's the morning. It's a beautiful day. Right, what time is it? When do we sleep till? I think we started to go into bed too late, you know. And who do I blame for this? Who do I blame? 9am, we had a, we had a lay-in. We've had worse days. At least it's before midday, so if we are... If I put this somewhere to remind me to check the time for midday, we should be good. Let's keep this in our pockets. Sis. In fact, how far north we are, can we check yet? We're checking a bit. We'll keep that in our pockets. Sis. And then when it gets closer to midday, we can have a little look-see. But yeah, the wind's... Uh, the, day is, the day is fine. Not too harsh winds. Looking at the uh, direction, we got the kind of uh, a beam wind, I think it's called. Let us let this out. So that when we drop the sail, it's already good. And release the main sail. Beautiful. Check the direction. Apparently, it would be possible to know how it's going to affect the direction before you release it. I don't know how you calculate that, but apparently it's a thing you can do. Uh, I'd like to go a bit more south because I believe we're going to... We'd be going not enough south, but a bit too much east the entire way. I mean, that's not great. That means we need to let more out. Which means we need to have this in tight. Because we are probably going in close haul. Now this is as tight as it goes. So let's practice what we uh, we learned earlier. Or what I said we'd learn. Let's, let's see if we can actually, actually uh, do it in practice. I'll let a little bit out here. And then bring it in on this side. Like this. So that it comes in tight. Pulling it tight so the rope is the knot is on the inside of the gunwale or the gun wall. See how that goes. It's part of us learning how to sell. That actually that's actually working. That is actually working. Woohoo! I'm happy. Happy with that. New skills. And if you didn't know that, you saw it here first. So yeah, we're not all derps. We're learning stuff too. 
Okay, it's nearly midday. So let us... This is not a great place. I'll just quickly look to the left once it's uh, the shadow's on. Shadow's almost... A bit closer. One more, one more, one more. Just... No, not quite. There. 41 seconds past. So 19 seconds to... So that's, that's uh, 4, 8, 12, 16. And the last one divided into four bits. We are three quarters of the way to five. Which actually is directly north, directly north of uh, Dragon Cliffs. So we're perfectly to the east, actually. According to that. If you want to see a slightly more detailed version of how I calculated that, check out the previous episode. We're right at the start. I'd like to go even like directly south. Is that a possible thing? Let's just see, get, make it happen and then see how the wind is looking afterwards. I think that's possible. The wind? Yeah, I think that's working. Let's catch some fish. As long as we've got a weight behind us, I'm happy. 